We're back. We got the waterproofing done, and um, so they they chose subway tile, right? Yes. Okay. No so. spacers. No spacers. Stack. It's got a natural bevel on it, so it creates its own grout lines. Now, what we're doing is we're creating a layout to make sure we don't get stuck with any little tiny cuts or difficult cuts or tiles that might break. Yeah. So you get your measurements from side to side, then to where your niche is going to be. Yeah. And we have a window in our shower, so that's going to go into effect as well. And you just want to make sure it's all going to work out. So I got my measurements. I'll go ahead and lay it out on the floor and take said measurements. So we can... So what's your measurement? About five foot across? Just under because okay. of our curdy board we yeah. have on there. It is a half inch thick. So we're right at about 59, between 59 and 59 and a half. Okay. And... So that will put us right around in here. So our cuts will be through and that's not hard to deal with. You're left over with a big piece and then a piece about a couple inches and that's acceptable. What you don't want. Will that be on both, both sides? That same cut on both ends? Well, if I start from a whole tile and then go half and whole, then from one side, it will end right here, all the way up the back wall. Yeah, I have not got the layout for the two small walls yet because I haven't started those yet. Okay. But I will do the same thing for those. And then we also go up and down for the niche, which is about 16 and a quarter and 36 and a quarter because it is a 20 inch niche Sorry, this paper's all ripply. It's not wanting to sit right So if we start at a full tile at the bottom Just want to make sure our Huts won't be crazy. So at 16 and a quarter, that's not a bad cut. That'll work. 36 and a quarter puts us at the very top of that tile. That will work because if anything, I'll have to cut off a little bit of the next tile, if that makes any sense. And that's a lot easier than to have your cut leaving a little bit on this one. That's what you don't want. Because you're going to start your bottom with full tile? Yes. And so you don't want to cut. You don't want to have a tiny sliver at the bottom to start, right? Correct. So that's why you want to That would be terrible. Start it would look terrible. And it would be difficult as an installer to do. And... Uh, You've already made sure your walls and stuff are level, correct? Oh, yes. yes. Everything is ready to go. I got So, essentially, it should be as simple as just running it out, yep. right? Making your cuts and running it out. Paint the wall with get... the thin set and start stacking. Cool. Get my so, you clean it as soon as you get done mixing so it doesn't stiffen up, get hard? That way, they're reusable. A lot of people just stick them in a bucket of water. They have a bucket of water nearby, but it'll still hold it on there but it'll still be wet so at some point you do have time to come back and clean it up last thing it's do important is the bucky drums man try to get dried up mud out of there i've had to run across a few occasions like that myself follow and subscribe for more